the rose-tinted glasses through which many of us view this heroic role of becoming a doctor is slowly being tainted by poor treatment of doctors from the NHS, pay that is not reflective of competency and a disappointing quality of life. With so many horror stories about what awaits if you do choose to put yourself through a strenuous application process and medical degree that ultimately may not be worth it, here is why you shouldn't study medicine in the UK. If you ask a majority of medical students why they wanted to study medicine, most people will say to help people, to contribute to saving lives and maybe even bringing life into the world. But a career in medicine entails more than just that. In the UK, medicine has now become a career that you need to sacrifice your entire livelihoods for. With a healthcare system that rations care and relies on the goodwill of doctors working themselves to the bone. Historically, becoming a doctor has been regarded as a prestigious career option for the best of the best who get to experience the best of the best. But that facade is slowly fading away and what we find in the aftermath is countless horrific stories from doctors in the NHS detailing the way in which care and patient safety is being compromised, burnout is a norm and the mental health of many clinicians at an all-time low. A poll from the British Medical Association Association found that 40% of junior doctors are planning to leave the NHS to pursue other roles, with poor working conditions being one of the top reasons why. It's difficult to have that job satisfaction that many of us thought we'd get by pursuing medicine if your quality of life is not reflective of the hard work you put in. It's almost impossible to enjoy your job if you're never sleeping or eating properly because you can never catch a break. And better yet, it is difficult to have even a smidge of job satisfaction if all of your concerns are being hushed away with a few claps for the NHS. There has been an ongoing crisis in which clinicians are leaving the NHS due to poor work conditions. As a result of this, this puts more pressure on doctors that remain in the NHS. This is a huge burden and too much to handle, so these doctors then also leave the NHS. And this vicious cycle just continues and continues and continues. This is definitely not what I envisioned when I said that I wanted to do medicine a few years ago. But unfortunately, it's currently a reality. Being a doctor can be so over glamorized sometimes that if you go into it naive you will be disappointed. I too thought in 2019 when I first started medical school that things will change by the time I become a doctor. I am now a year from graduating and working conditions have only gotten worse. Another reason why you might want to rethink a career in medicine is because of money. What really cracks me up is that in the past, people used to make accusations that some medical students are only doing medicine for the money. What money? According to the BMJ, 50% of junior doctors had trouble paying for lighting or heat in their homes. Since 2008, junior doctors have received a pay cut of 26%. 45% of junior doctors struggle to afford rent or mortgage. If you want financial stability or an income that reflects your competency or skill set, then you're better off stepping into fintech, banking, and all these many other career sectors that will promise you that. In many countries, medicine is considered the pinnacle of education but after five to six years 100k debt you're telling me that I won't be able to afford rent or heat for my home make it make sense no matter how much you are meant to love a profession and do it just because of the passion these statistics are shocking talking about money let's talk about the debt you accumulate by being a medical student five to six years as a medical student is a long time being at university for five to six years pursuing a medical degree accumulating all of that debt just to potentially leave a profession because of a healthcare system that forces you out due to poor treatment is a lot of years to waste especially if you end up moving into a career option that would have required less training and less sacrifice i know that i'm gonna get a few comments that'll be like yes but it's technically not a waste because a lot of the skills that you gain from medicine you can transfer onto another career sector. I definitely agree but is it worth accumulating 100k worth of debt 
when you could have done a shorter uni degree or even an apprenticeship that would have led you to the same destination. You need to take these things into consideration and think about if you see yourself going all the way and potentially remaining in a system like the NHS where those in charge unfortunately don't value clinicians. Fighting the same battles as a medical student for five to six years is a lot. Having to constantly deal with imposter syndrome, chronic stress, study guilt, all these things that come with studying such an intense degree for five to six years. Is it really worth it? It's lifelong learning that doesn't just stop when you graduate. There is training and exams that you have to do even when you become a doctor. Is this a cycle that you are willing to be a part of for so long? And my final reason on why you should reconsider if you really want to study medicine in this UK is pressure over passion i.e. pursuing medicine because your family members or your environment is pressuring you to do so. When I speak to some of my friends, it's like, oh, you're doing medicine. I am so sorry, and rightfully so. That pity is well-deserved because our age mates or those making an effort to break down misconceptions about a career in medicine understand that us prospective medics are being done dirty by the NHS. For a lot of communities, doing medicine is still seen as a very honourable and respectable thing to do, which can be a lot to deal with if you feel in your heart that medicine isn't for you, but you can't speak up or take control of your life because you don't want to disappoint anyone. Beyond family, even at school when you have that reputation of academic excellence, especially amongst the sciences, it's kind of just expected and assumed that you're probably going to pursue a competitive career option like medicine. And expectations can weigh very heavy on people, whether it's from peers, friends, family members, teachers, you may feel as though you don't want to disappoint them by taking an alternative route. And while I'm so lucky that this wasn't a situation that I personally had to face, I have met doctors or medical students that felt as though they had no choice but to pursue medicine due to pressures in their external environment. If medicine is something that you're not passionate about, you don't want to pursue, but you're feeling pressured by your environment, my best advice would be to remember that it's your life and it's not worth bargaining with your future. Do not bargain with your happiness. If you're struggling to speak up, I would use the fact that there is so much information out there about the realities of the NHS, I would use that to your advantage. The stories out there might help you prove your case that you are genuinely dodging a bullet by not pursuing medicine and that those misconceptions of money, job satisfaction, happiness is far from the reality that many doctors in the UK are currently facing. Things in the NHS may not change. Whether you're an aspiring medic, thinking about potentially pursuing a career in medicine, or even a current medical student, if you go into this with loads of unrealistic expectations, then it's going to hit you like a ton of bricks. You need to know what you're getting yourself into, the good, the bad, the ugly. In saying this, I do think that it's important to have a holistic approach towards this I don't want to do medicine mantra. For someone like me who once idolised this dream of becoming a doctor so much, this is very heartbreaking, discouraging and anxiety provoking. Like, it's one of those ones where if I don't laugh, I'll cry. But why am I still deciding to go on to become a doctor? Why do I think that you should still study medicine if it's something that you really want to do? Well, number one is that I want to be a doctor is not interchangeable with I want to work in the NHS. Unfortunately, the career prospects for wanting to become a doctor in the UK is slowly but surely deteriorating. But the good news is that there is a life beyond the UK. Being a doctor is not easy, but it sure could be easier elsewhere. Research conducted by the BMA found that a third of doctors are planning to leave the UK and work as a doctor elsewhere. There are health systems elsewhere that may value you more. Life doesn't stop at the UK borders. You can relocate to Canada, America, Australia, different corners of the world where you may get the opportunity to live comfortably, have a fulfilling career while still protecting your well-being. Do your research and start considering these things. This is why it's really important to be sure that this is something you really want to do because it is now more important than ever to take control and really start thinking about what you 
you envision your career as a doctor looking like. Whether that's relocating to a different country, rethinking your speciality, diversifying your career so that you step into other branches that isn't necessarily tied down to working with the NHS or even not studying medicine in the first place. You may realise that the future you see for yourself doesn't reflect the quality of life you'll receive if you work as a long-term NHS doctor. So I encourage you to do in-depth research and have a think. Talking about other branches of the medicine, there is more to medicine than being a hospital doctor. A lot of the stimulants for poor treatment and poor working conditions that I have mentioned in this video thus far tend to be associated with working as a hospital doctor. And while GPs, aka family doctors as some countries call it, tend to have their fair share of trials and tribulations, it tends to be a known thing that hospital doctors have a worse quality of life. So if remaining in medicine is something that you want to do, it may be worth diversifying your understanding of what options are available for you to discover. There is a plethora of opportunity in medicine for you to explore that is frequently overlooked and isn't necessarily always at the forefront of our minds. Whether it's intercalating, going abroad, becoming a medical professor, public health, med tech, becoming a media doctor, medical research. Medicine is so diverse, so you may not want to dash your aspirations in the bin and give the NHS the power to put a full stop on your dreams of becoming a doctor. You may just need to alter the destination of what being a doctor looks like for you, rather than scrapping the entire idea. You can customise the medical degree for yourself and make the most out of it to give yourself the opportunity to learn a lot about yourself. What areas of medicine you like or don't like, where you may be better suited to, what you have an unexpected passion for. You can't acquire this information with lack of knowledge, research and experimentation. It is okay if being a hospital doctor in the UK no longer aligns with your vision. I definitely see myself stepping into other branches that isn't necessarily tied down to being a full-time doctor in the NHS. I don't know about you, but my TikTok for you page has become increasingly jam-packed with lots of information and reasons why you shouldn't study medicine. And I do think that it's so important that people are shedding a light on these things. And I don't for one second disregard these very real stories from doctors who have suffered under the NHS. But what is happening is that people are making harsh decisions that they may come to regret just because they were too busy riding the wave of what is currently trendy on social media. Please, please, please do your research and make an informed decision because you don't want to rush into an outcome that will have you thinking what if in 10 to 20 years time. Look at various sources, watch multiple videos, read all the articles, weigh up the pros and cons of wanting to study medicine and the kind of future that you see for yourself. If you know what the end goal is then you can act accordingly. If you want financial prosperity, flexibility, a career that will reward and appreciate the hard work that you do then you may want to look elsewhere and rightfully so. But keep in mind that no career option will ever just be sunshines and rainbows. The grass is not always greener on the other side. Most professions out there will require a level of hard work. You need to accept that in a career there are less glamorous things that you must do in order to maintain the quality of life that you are after. It's all about balance so pick your poison. You may decide at the end of the day that it's not for you and that's perfectly fine as you need to prioritise your happiness at the end of the day. But I wanted to provide you with this well-rounded perspective to encourage you to make a decision based off of what you want. You do it for you, not because it's trendy. Regardless of everything happening in the media right now, I don't for one second regret pursuing medicine and that's me being honest. Medical students are forced to build these time management and organisation skills due to the intense nature of the medical degree and when you do unconsciously gain these skills paired with personal initiative and drive then something really beautiful can come from it. The pressures of medical school really taught me how to manage all of these different projects that I participate in beyond my degree. And these extracurriculars and commitments outside of university have simply changed my life. Doing the medical degree in itself has taught me a lot about myself that has opened a lot of doors for me. Medicine is the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. It has refined me through stress, struggle, friends, memories, networks and discovery to step into the best version of myself. So if I could go back in the past, I wouldn't change a single thing about pursuing medicine 
because I genuinely couldn't envision myself doing anything else. And I'm not too keen on letting the NHS dictate my future. So we're gonna have to look at the different options available for me post-graduation. <laughs> if you want to see more thought-provoking videos, check out this video on why medical school is no longer my top priority. Let me know in the comment section down below what other videos you want to see from me and I'll be sure to see you next time. Bye.